Dr. Mohamed Sanusi, to be or not. Dr. Mohamed Sanusi is the Secretary General of the Nigeria Football Federation. He has been in the news these past few days. The gentleman is my friend. I like him a lot. As far as I can see from my observatory in the rolling hills of Wasimi, he has maintained great decorum in the handling of the affairs of football in the country. I've not interacted with him close enough at any time since I first met him many years ago. To know him beyond his courteousness, politeness, soft-spokenness, and never-in-your-face attitude. He carries good credentials in his long and varied experiences working in the NFA, as well as in academic pursuits with a doctorate degree to boot. As far as his handling of the affairs of the NFA is concerned, I've not had any close interactions with the organization since he became the Secretary General over 10 years ago. So I know little and cannot be a good judge about his capacity and performance as administrator of the Secretariat of the most important sports federation in Nigeria. In these past 10 years, I've not had any serious dealings with the Nigeria Football Administration outside journalistic inquiries about some issues for which Dr. Sanusi was always quick to provide the needed information or direction to the source of better information. And he would do these things courteously. What I do not know is whether that attitude and treatment are general or a special treat reserved for me. Either way, I thank him. From time to time, however, Dr. Sanusi comments on some of my postings on my social media platforms, often with a kind word here and there. Even when I wrote what some persons considered negative about him by raising issues about his humongous salary, he did not take it personal and did not miss a beat in our friendly relationship. So I know Dr. Sanusi enough, even if I have not had much direct dealings with him in the over 10 years of his being the Secretary General of the Nigeria Football Federation. So I respect our remote friendship. At the, mom at the moment, this matter is heating up the system. Some stakeholders in the General Assembly of the Federation are planning to use their numbers and resources to offer Sanusi a new contract when the present one expires at the end of the year. Undoubtedly, the move is not popular. It may create a ripple effect that could become a storm in the immediate future. Ordinarily, renewing Sanusi's contract should be routine. There should be no issues about reappointing a competent and performing Secretary General. Unfortunately, there are issues that negate this intention. The public and some media are raising very serious concerns about why Sanusi's contract should not be renewed. He has been in that office for 11 years, longer than anyone else in history. That's not the problem. His latest contract will end in December this year. That's not the problem either. And I will not pretend that I'm familiar with all the issues, but there's one in particular that attracts my attention and the need for this my humble comment. Let me establish a background. I'm not a tribalist. 
I do not have a single drop of tribalism in my blood. I am of Yoruba extraction by birth. I spent the first 17 years of my life in Jos, in northern Nigeria. So I speak the Hausa language, even better than my Yoruba. In the formative years of my life, I attended primary and secondary schools owned by the Catholic Church and populated mostly by Igbos in the year before the political crisis of 1966 that led to the bloody war of 1967. So I speak the Igbo language and some of my best friends are from that ethnic group. I've spent the decades since December 1970 to date in Yoruba land, going through useful lessons in understanding my own ethnic roots. My mother was originally a Muslim, and my father was one of the founders of the African church in Jos. So, I am a product of this mixture of cultures, indoctrinations, exposures, and experiences. Finally, imagine as a totally detribalized Nigerian that does not see things through the prism of ethnicity. So, back to the ongoing conversation on Dr. Mohammed Sanusi. Ethnicity has reared its dangerous head. A journalist called me the other day and wanted my views on the issue of the renewal of Sanusi's contract from the position of ethnic balancing and federal character in the board of the NFF. He asked, why would the two most powerful officials in the Nigeria Football Federation come from the same geographical, political, and ethnic group? Really? How did that happen? Avoiding such a situation has voided the ambition of many aspirants to offices in the NFF in the past, including me. There is always consideration for careful balancing and federal character consideration for appointments into national offices. It is so important in a multi-ethnic and multi-religious country like Nigeria that provision is inscribed into the country's constitution. In sports, although unwritten into the constitution of federations, it goes without saying that stakeholders would navigate through this minefield by deploying common sense, always observing the simple code of ethnic balancing during elections and in the employment of key staff. Occasionally there is a blip but always created by circumstances that cannot be avoided and not as a deliberate strategy to impose any group on the rest. One such situation is Ibrahim Gusau succeeding Amadou Pinik as president of the NFF when Sanusi was still secretary general, inadvertently creating the present situation where the two most powerful men in Nigerian football come from the same geographical zone of the country, the North. The reality is that when Sanusi was first engaged over 10 years ago, Amadou Pinik from the southern part of the country was president, so it was okay. Presently, some stakeholders are stoking the ambers of crisis. They are attempting to be clever by half by distorting what has ensured the equilibrium of things and instilled some level of equity and fair representation at the top of Nigerian football through the decades. I am not surprised, therefore, that an army of opposition has emerged to try to halt the clandestine plot. Sanusi is to be used as a pawn and returned as Secretary General against the grain of best established practice, common sense, equity, and ethnic balancing in the administration of football in Nigeria. No, no matter how attractive the offer may be, 
or what power the stakeholders planning this plot may have at the moment. My humble advice is that they should shelve the plan for the good of the game and for peace and follow the path of reason. Should they choose to pursue this narrow agenda, they may be planting the seeds of a future crisis. In an ideal society, it should not matter the least where a person comes from in the matter of employment, but not so in Nigeria, as history and previous experiences have taught us through the country's history. A word is enough for the wise. I wish the General Assembly of the NFF useful deliberations. <laughs>